And you can see once the software recognizes enough data from the upper and lower teeth, it just brings those together. All right, so let's go to the bytes section. So you can see on this scanner with the iTero, when you, when you select byte, we have a visualization of the upper quadrant scan, the lower quadrant scan. And for this scan, what it's gonna do is just merge those together. So usually when the patient's biting together, we may not have access to that area. So we'll first ask the patient to open, go ahead and open all the way, perfect. And then we position the scanner against the cheek and now bite all the way down together like we did earlier. So we get them back into that same position that we practice with. And now I'll take it a step further and now bite down with pressure. So we ask the patient to bite down and just kind of clench together. And that just allows the PDL to compress. It really ensures that we have the teeth in the most centric position. Once they're in that position and the camera's in position, now I'll activate the camera. So I activate the camera here with the activation on the iTero is on the scanner itself. Activate the camera and begin capturing information on the buckle surfaces on both the upper and lower. And you can see once the software recognizes enough data from the upper and lower teeth, it just brings those together. And I'll take some additional rotations actually. I wanna to try to actually capture some of the upper occlusal surfaces around those cusp tips just to give the system even more data points to lock those models together. Because I scan from the posterior, or we try to capture from the posterior, most posterior tooth to the cuspid on both the upper and lower, even if we're working, if the restorative prep is the most posterior or last tooth, by having more data toward the mesial, during this buccal scan, it will allow the system to accurately bring those together. It just has more data points to reference. So that's how we establish an accurate bite, and that should hopefully lead to a successful and great fitting restoration with minimal occlusal adjustments.